Hey there guys, this is Munubin Chilai here and today I'm gonna do a uh, short video review of my latest loot and that is Yep, a Kingdom Hearts Christmas Town Sora and uh, before I can jump into a video uh, reviewing this figure uh, I just want to say that I'm I'm really sorry that uh, that I haven't do any video reviews because I'm currently busy making all these meshes for The Sims 2 and it's a big project and besides I got a lot of things to do at home well not just doing a meshes for The Sims 2 but also uh, making some music, home videos for myself just from friends and all that and that's my short intro for the video and now let's jump on to this the Christmas Town Store figure shall we? okay so what do we got here um, we see an action figure of Christmas Town Sora and he looks as if he's dead or something or is he alive? I don't know. Well anyways, uh, here it is. The Christmas Town Sora action figure from Kingdom Hearts 2. Actually it's Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix, not Kingdom Hearts 2 like this one. So uh, what do you see here? Um, we see his clothes, his, uh, his Santa clothes, this Christmas clothes with this Greek crown and all that. Uh, you know, all that kind of stuff uh, from Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. And uh, what else? Uh, okay, so we got a warning here. Jumping hard, blah, hazard, blah, blah, blah. Kingdom Hearts 2 Play Arts, number 5 so Number 5 so Wow, I never knew that. And also a Square Enix product. Oh, fuck it. Uh, the Black Label Collectors, whatever and whatnot. So we say at the back. And it's the picture of Christmas Town Sora from Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. We got, what's this, another figure? It's uh, Number 6, King Mickey, but I'm not planning to buy him because uh, he's too fucking small for me. Over 18 points of articulation, blah blah blah, so another warning, an official Square Enix. Yes, of course, it's an official Square Enix. And some Japanese layering that I don't give a fuck about. Uh, Square Enix Incorporated, blah blah blah. And uh, that's all for the box. Oh, what we got? This one. Oh, it says uh, Square Enix. Right. Square Enix shop.com, blah blah. So anyways, uh, let's open up this box, shall we? So, um, I think we should use these instead. Scissor, yes, of course. And we're gonna cut this thing off. Of course. Tip, 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 tip. And here he is. Christmas Town Sora out of the box. Yep, of course, with this, uh, with this little keyblade right over here. Uh, like I said, I don't even fucking remember about this keyblade. But anyways, it looks... It looks nice, it looks detailed, and of course what you expect from Square Enix, huh? And again, they even gave a tape right around the boxes, all these plastic boxes right over here from the top to the right, from the bottom to the left. And again, we can use this, zip zip zip. Finally, all the duct tapes are now removed, and let's open up this plastic thing, shall we? Okay, let's take out this thing. Oh, great, another duct tape. But anyways, let's just forget about the duct tape. Anyways, let's continue with the figure and the keyblade. So let's take this little guy out. And, of course, the keyblade. And ta-da! Here he is, Christmas Town Sora. Let's continue with the, with the figure, shall we? Okay, now uh, the figure is a uh, nice detail, I'd say. With a nice little, uh, you know, right there the texture I think I don't know the little furries again and his hair was a little bit different than other original Sora action figures um, well the original Sora figures have this uh, little little blonde a bit but this one seems darker and it's like as if it's brown and uh, no there's no Dracula teeth don't worry about it just like in the game but thank god that he doesn't have any you know vampires or Dracula's teeth so anyways uh, you can see here that there's a uh, you can see that his little other eye right over here and uh, his face is a little bit different too with the brown paint I think and this crown thing and whatnot and, uh, the belt, the clothes so yeah and his, uh, his pants is great and his shoes look well, kind of a bit different but let's just say that it's it really looks nice and great and whatnot although it looks pointy well, the articulation of this figure is, uh, well, it's kind of a bit li little bit limited, but, uh, but it's worth it nonetheless. Uh, his head can be rotated, but, uh, but I can't rotate it that much because I can only use it with my left hand because right now I'm holding the camera. 
and I don't have a tripod, so I may be going to buy one sooner. So he, his, his head can be moved as well, go to sideways. Uh, his arm is movable, forth like this, forth and back and whatnot. His, uh, his hand can be rotated, his, well, his arm as well. And of course, uh, same goes to the, the, uh, the white one, as this forth and back and uh, rotated as well. Well, I don't know about this thing, this little body of his, I think it's been rotated, I guess. Um, oh, yes, uh, it's rotated, but it's kind of, it's, it's kind of difficult for me to move his body, because, like I said, I only use my left hand, not my right hand, because my right hand is used, is uh, holding a camera right now. Anyways, let's continue to the figure review. Uh, his legs can be uh, moved, can be moved back and forth, just like, ah, oh, fuck it, can be moved. And also, his shoes can be moved as well. And uh, just like any other action figure, uh, Kingdom Hearts 2 uh, Sora action figures can be moved as well. And that's for the figure. And now, let's move on to his accessory. Now, I don't quite uh, remember this uh, Keyblade though, because I'm not even playing Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. What all I did was just playing the game, just like I said before. But nonetheless, this is one creepy Keyblade, I'd say. I mean, I'm afraid to to eat this candy cane, I mean, I mean, wouldn't it be creepy if there's one candy cane that has a mouth and a, and, and, a, and a, an eye that, that wants to gobble you or eating you instead of you eating him? You know, I don't want to be getting eaten by this candy cane. Oh, no. And also, uh, we got a uh, Jack Skunton's face here. Hello there, little Jack Skunton. And as usual, a little nice uh, keychain rear. Well, very cute. And also, this little fella. Now, I don't quite remember his name as well. So, let's compare the figures between the Christmas Town Sora and the fake Sora action figure. Yes, it's a fake Sora action figure. As you can see, that the, the skin looks pale and whatnot. There's nothing much different actually, but uh, to tell you the truth, uh, the Christmas Town Sora, yes, the Christmas Town Sora, looks taller than this Sora because as you can see that he's a little bit older than this fake Sora figure so I just have to say that Square Enix has changed Sora a bit from the uh, the original uh, you know Sora figure that they made well this one is a fake one but the original Sora has the same height as this fake Sora so yeah and well looks looks better than than the Sora figure has a nice shoes, nice pants, and uh, also a very nice detail too. Then the uh, and this figure, well, of course this is the fake Sora figure, but well, I just want to say that I want to go for this one because he looks great, and he looks awesome, and that's all for the uh, Christmas Town Sora action figure review. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this Christmas Town Sora action figure video review and. Uh, Stay tuned for more some video reviews, or should I say some more uh, teaser videos I'd say. And I hope you guys enjoy watching it and see you guys next time.